Hello there, vinyl community. Hello there, my vinyl corner, Miko from Finland. Congratulations on turning 40 years old. Welcome to <laughs> our level. <laughs> I turned 40 two years ago, and I remember that it felt actually uh, pretty good, actually, surprisingly good, because I felt like I was standing with the uh, one feet now in a more adult world and the other feet still in the, some kind of a youth age when I want to discover new things uh, all the time so, so uh, I felt like uh, I, I uh, had turned into a much a little maturer person but still with the same person inside of me and it felt really really good so uh, no 40, 40 age crisis here. Uh, so I hope that you will have a really, really great uh, birthday party when you turn 40. With a lot of presents, a lot of great food, and a lot of great music. Maybe some of these records that I will show uh, will be something that you can listen to at your uh, 40th birthday party. Uh, because you wanted us to show music from 1977. Uh, I turned three years old in 1977. So I don't have all that much nostalgia to go uh, after. Uh, uh, maybe there were some uh, children songs that I don't remember. But normally I don't have any uh, really nostalgia about 1977. But as I have been... Uh, collecting the 70s now for uh, a couple of years 1977 have turned up on some of my absolute favorite 70s albums it was no doubt a great year a lot of familiar names released a lot of uh, great and interesting records so uh, uh, I wouldn't call this a regular uh, year celebration you you know Miko my uh, little series that I do when I uh, celebrate a year uh, in the music uh, business <laughs> by showing records from that year uh, but let's call it a special year celebration for Miko because that that, that it was what uh, this actually is uh, this is actually the first time I'm showing a 70s record from one specific year. So uh, hold on to your hat, Miko. Uh, going to, uh, we have uh, music from many different kinds here. Singer-songwriters, we have uh, uh, classical uh, pop albums from the biggest artists. And of course, a stack of 70s soul music here. Even got some synth pop from the 70s. How can that be possible? You'll find out. Uh, starting with singer songwriters uh, and uh, an artist that I discovered last year. Uh, I think about a year ago I bought this uh, album uh, almost precisely. Uh, and uh, this album is so great. From 1977, Netherlands by Dan Fogelberg. Really relaxing and smooth and so well made music and lyrics and uh, fantastic produced. This guy really, really great on doing music. Netherlands, Dan Fogelberg. Something for relaxing. And how about one of my absolute favorite female artists from the 70s? Also released an album in the 1977. How happy I was when I uh, uh, looked in my database and realized that Carol King made an album in 1977. One of my favorite albums also, Simple Things, that I bought in, in the record fair a couple of years ago. And I remember listening to it and feeling that this was so great. Uh, consisting Hard Rock Cafe, one of her biggest hits. 
this is a really, really great Carol King album. Highly recommended. Remember that I bought a whole stack of uh, David Bowie albums last year. Uh, and one of them turned out to be from 1977. Low. Uh, this is a really great album. Uh, can't match, of course, Hunky Dory and Ziggy Stardust, that I feel is my absolute favorites. But still a great album, especially the B-side, that are kind of experimental. And I think it is a really, really great and exciting music. David Bowie. Another one of my favorite 70s artists released a great album. 10cc Decisive Bands with this great cover sleeve. Uh, and really, really interesting gatefold. And, of course, one of my absolute favorite artists from the 70s and the 80s. I like them in all kinds of decades. Even though I haven't that much check on them today, but I'm sure they're really good. Chicago, of course, and Chicago 11, containing Baby Boy, a big surprise, a great song with, with uh, a great singing by uh, Peace Terra. Really, really funky uh, 70s music. Synth pop from the 70s wasn't all that ordinary back then, but there was one band, besides Charles Michel Charles, of course, that uh, were pioneers when it comes to synthesizing music. And of course, I'm talking about Kraftwerk and Trans Europe Express. A real classic record in the synth pop genre. And now we're coming into some uh, 70s soul music, even though that this next album isn't pure 70s soul. Uh, but uh, the artist is a pioneer in, in 70s soul music. Uh, talking about Quincy Jones. And uh, uh, now coming to also to a couple of soundtrack albums. And here is the soundtrack for the movie Roots. Maybe not something you want at your 40th birthday party, Miko. Uh, this one is more relaxing. Uh, relaxing and, and really smooth and uh, very much uh, well music feeling over it. But I like this song, this album very, very much. Uh, and another soundtrack. With 70s soul feeling. Bought last year. Short Eyes soundtrack. Uh, with music. Uh, only by Curtis Mayfield. A really funky. Uh, 70s soundtrack. Listen to the song. A Heavy Dude. That one is really really great. Highly recommended. And also more 70s funk and soul. This one I listened to a couple of times and I think this one is really, really good. Delegation and the promise of love. Really funky soul music. And I'm talking about funky soul music, 1977, of course. Some Jackson 5, the Jacksons, Going Places, also bought at the uh, record fair. Interesting sleeve, no doubt about it. And you wanted us to uh, show uh, our absolute favorite album from 1977, and that one was the easy part, because there is one record that uh, 
is uh, one of my absolute favorite albums from the 70s. Uh, so uh, when I discovered that this one that you wanted us to show our favorite album from 1977, this one was, uh, of course, my main pick. And I'm talking about Earth, Wind and Fire and All and All. Look at the classics that it says here. Fantasy, Serpentine, Fire, Jupiter. This one can be a great party album, Miko. So, uh, and this killer sleeve. What a classic. Definitely one of the most funkiest albums in from the 70s and uh, one of the best albums ever in my opinion. So Miko, I hope that you have found something <laughs> to discover uh, and uh, that you are satisfied with my response. Once again, congratulations on your big day uh, and uh, have a really nice birthday party and uh, take care Miko and everybody else uh, I'm just I'm right now in the middle of my editing of my uh, culling video so that one will be next uh, so uh, take care everybody and see ya